Yeah, you don't know, see, our history, so you don't know me. I have to come, come represent, you know? Our story, yeah? And next, we're going to have Imani. Imani's coming up to say one or two poems for you. Okie dokie. Many thanks. Greetings, everybody. I come under the name of Original Born Word Goddess when I'm doing my poetry. I hope you enjoy it. My people She loved the best. Thank you. Thank you. My granny too. They're all our grannies, huh? This one is dedicated. I wrote this actually to. Um, there was a suffragettes movement last a few weeks ago at the university, you know, and it was talking about equal rights for women. It was a hundred years of women had the vote. But I can't help but wanting to say something more about our experience as black women. Because when we were enslaved, our sisters were not there to support us as women. Because we were seen as less than a human. So I wrote this poem that asked me to write a poem dedicated to the black woman um, as part of that struggle. It's called Keys to Freedom. When I say I stand with you in solidarity, yes, it is true, my sister. For you and I, womb precious and so powerful that they silence us. But sister, let me say this, that my experience and my story differs slightly, and I need to share it with you. That whilst Western women battled for liberation with ribbons of solidarity dressed on their lapels, I lay in pools of blood in the cane field. Cries to the masses whip were ignored when I cried to you for solidarity then, my sister. Crawling mangled in the cane fields to feed a sugar addiction that was so great that human rights were ignored and justified by labeling me less than cattle on a slavery inventory list. I 
stay strong because my legacy lives on, my sisters. My legacy is beyond the branded names to destroy my African psyche. My names and traditions and cultures and religions were erased through programmed ideology over centuries. I remain triumphant and in the peace, not learning that my story is thousands of centuries old. My history lays buried in the waters where ancient temples lay buried. In these waters show the truth so profound that I, black woman, birthed the whole world from the Nile River. Images of kings and queens who in their sovereignty sat side by side in queenship and kingship. Great women bestowed with power to shape and mold great nations. Great women who brought forth healing and medicine and governance, the blueprint to shape a whole society, African woman. But this monster called patriarchy, this monster called racism has eroded my reality. And from the great Boabab tree, I am now a splinter. I am now the splinter that will prick the conscience of mankind to erase, to erase this notion that I came from a rib. I came from no rib, my brothers and sisters. I am the splinter that will prick the conscience of mankind to change and heal the world. Thank you. Thank you.